I know you have some new reporting um, that I want to ask you about, um, Julie. This post from Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, it's getting some backlash amongst um, fellow Democrats. Walk us through it. Well, Rashida Tlaib is not only one of three Muslim uh, members of Congress, she's also the only Palestinian American uh, member of Congress. And when we've had these moments, these uh, moments of fighting, not only between Israel and Palestine or Hamas or any of these conflicts in the region, we've often heard Republicans criticize her for her position. She's always been unapologetically pro-Palestine. She's criticized the Israeli government. She did, however, over the weekend, uh, post on X criticizing the president president's response, uh, saying that he was uh, enforcing or, or backing, essentially, Israeli genocide of Palestinians. She also tweeted a common slogan we've been hearing, from the river to the sea, Palestine would be free, defending that slogan. We promptly heard uh, some backlash from some Democrats in this case, Jewish Democrats, including Florida Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, including uh, the Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel of the state where Rashida Tlaib herself is from. This is all relevant. Why? Because we are again seeing another censure attempt coming from Congresswoman uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, a Republican of Georgia, that first attempt to censure Tlaib for what uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, says are anti-Semitic comments did not work. It failed with a bipartisan majority last week in the House. But once again, uh, Greene said she will, uh, again, attempt another censure resolution against Tlaib. Uh, I'm curious to see if any of these Jewish Democrats would potentially join that effort this time around. It's certainly a live ball in the House, and, and certainly tensions are rising when it comes to this issue.